Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how you can create a selfie segmentation app using Streamlit and MediaPipe. Before diving deep into the code, let me just show you the final application. To run any co uh, code in Streamlit, you just have to press Streamlit run and the file name. So for me, that is app.py and just give it a moment. So here is the final application in which uh, you can upload any video you want and also upload any background image you want. So here is the final, here is the uh, default video I have uploaded. This is a video from Ryan George. And here is the background image I have uploaded. This is the image I have created using stable diffusion as well. Right. So now you can just test it out on different bunch of different images. So you can just uh, upload a different background image. So this is another background image I created using SD. So you can see it is uh, instantaneously changing. It also has a feature for uh, using the webcam. It has a feature for selecting different models. Uh, the selfie segmentation app has two different models, which I'll be explaining further uh, uh, in the code, right? And you can upload any video you want as well. So let me just uh, show it on a different video. Just to me a moment. So here is another video from Trevor Noah. So you can uh, you can just drag and drop any video you want and drag and drop any background image you want as well. So yeah, let's just uh, dive deep into the code. So here I'm uh, importing a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm importing OpenCV. I'm importing MediaPipe. Uh, if you are curious about how to install media pipe, you just have to press quick install media pipe. And for Streamlit, if you're a Mac or a Linux user, you can directly install Streamlit uh, by typing to install Streamlit. But if you are a Windows user, you have to uh, go to your Anaconda environment and uh, install it from there. If you are curious about how to do it, uh, do refer to my previous videos where I have explained it in detail. Right. Then uh, we are importing a, a NumPy and Pillow as well. So next we are creating a bunch of different variables for uh, putting in some default videos and images. So I created a demo video variable for uh, putting in the demo video and the background image. And I also created a uh, another variable if in case if you have not put any background image, it will just uh, put a background color uh, which is gray in here. here. So MediaPipe has many inbuilt solutions and we are going to use one of its inbuilt solution called selfie segmentation. So I'm just uh, creating a variable and uh, referring to that, right? And then we are creating a main function and I'm creating a title. So uh, using st.title and I'm also, I also want to create a uh, title on the sidebar. So I'm just uh, pressing st.sidebar.title. So you, you can just see those here. So here is the st.title, here is the st.sidebar.title and I'm creating a uh, another uh, value name for parameters. So I'm just using some header. So st.sidebar dot some header where I just uh, uh, type parameters. And now I'm creating a button for webcam. So if you just press this button, it will access your webcam and I'll write a bit of logic for that as well. Then I created a select box where you can select two different models, mm -hmm. zero and one. So the zero model is the model which you use by default, uh, which ha which can work uh, more quickly, but uh, it comes with the cost of accuracy. And if you want more accuracy, you can use the uh, one model, uh, but it comes at the cost of speed. So you can uh, choose between them depending on the video you want to uh, work with, right? And I also created an empty frame using Streamlit for Streamlit because uh, Streamlit processes videos a bit differently. For that, uh, we are creating an empty frame for that. And next, we are going to create a uh, file uploader. So Streamlit has a uh, inbuilt file uploader in which you can just uh, uh, put in the types and it will convert into in any file uploader you want. So I'm creating a file uploader. I'm just uh, putting in all different type of video files mp4, mov and so on and then I'm writing a, a bit of logic uh, as I mentioned before Streamlit has a different way of processing videos for that we are using the temp file right 
and I'm just writing a bit of logic uh, where I mentioned uh, if you have not uploaded a video, it will just check if you're using the webcam. If you're using the webcam, it will. Uh, I'm just. Uh, I, I've written uh, CV2 dot video capture equals to zero, right? So zero means uh, it, uh, it will check in for an inbuilt webcam. If you have an external webcam, you can type one in that uh, place. Else, it will. If you're not, if you're not even using the webcam, it will just go with the demo video, which we have already mentioned. And or else, it will. Uh, it will use the file uh, you have uploaded in the file uploader. And similarly for the uh, image as well, in where we are uploading the background images, we are just mentioning different types of images. And I'm just writing a similar uh, logic where we are saying uh, if if the image file buffer is not none. So you're just mentioning that uh, if you have already uploaded something, just show it. If not, uh, just show the demo image. And then we are showing the original video and on uh, and the image as well, right? Uh, let me just show you those. So we are just showing the original image, and similarly we are also showing the video using st dot sidebar dot video and st dot sidebar dot image, and we are just taking the values of the video, its width, height, and FPS. We are not going to use the FPS part. I just uh, keep it as a placeholder, you know, in uh, case you want to just analyze how uh, like no how quickly the video is processing right we are also creating a uh, out uh, variable where if you want to save your video you can use this i haven't um, i just have put it as a placeholder right now i'm not saving the video but you can uh, it's fairly simple if you are curious about how to save a video you can just uh, comment down below I'll, I'll i'll add it in the description right and then uh, we are using the uh, mp selfie segmentation and we are, uh, it has an uh, inbuilt variable for model selection and we are using the select box model selection, right? And we are just resizing the background image to, to match with the original media. And uh, we are uh, then we are converting the uh, video into RGB because when a video is uploaded via OpenCV, uh, OpenCV converts it into BGR format, but for media pipe, we need it in an RGB format. So we're just converting it in the color into RGB and then we are just processing it. Now, uh, after you process it, uh, you're just uh, gonna use the bilateral filters uh, so that and create a condition so that um, uh, the video, uh, the background image looks uh, a bit natural and you don't find all that blurriness, right? You can just mess around with this, uh, uh, this and see what works best for you. So this is what was mentioned in the documentation. So I just went with that, right? And I'm also creating a condition whether if you don't have a uh, background image, it will just convert the color as a background image as well. And then uh, we are just uh, putting in a condition. Uh, based on the condition, we are just uh, putting in the original frame and the background image. And we are processing uh, the frame in the a empty array I have created here. Let me just show you that. Just give me a moment. So here I have created an empty array because uh, Streamly process videos differently. So you just have to create an empty array and pass images to just showcase it. And so uh, I'm just doing that. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm keep. Uh, let me know if you like this format of video or if you want me to code along while I'm explaining it to you. Uh, and I hope, uh, hope you have a, guys have a great day. Yeah, that's about it.